Hi, Dave Smith here. Uh, so this is going to be a slightly different um, sort of little series of videos on the channel. Uh, it's also about books and it's a series I'm going to call uh, What I'm Currently Reading. Now, I mentioned in uh, a previous video that one of the things that I'm going to be doing in 2021 is starting an MFA in photography and I am hoping that I can tran transition that on to then uh, a PhD. So I'm doing quite a lot of preparatory work uh, for that and in my mind at the moment is that the project for the MFA and possibly also the PhD will be, I think I'm getting tangled up in wires here, Bear with me for a moment. Uh, right, there it is. Okay, that looks a bit better. Um, is to explore time. Now, I'm not sure if I will carry that through to the PhD or change to a different uh, project. But at the moment, I'm, uh, I'm expecting to carry the same uh, ideas through. So I'm looking at time. So one of the books I'm reading is this one. It is Time and Photography, and the editors are Jan Beertens, Alexander Streitberger, and Hilde van Gelder. And this is actually published by the Leuven University Press in Belgium. And you can see I'm most of the way through that. Now what this book is, is precious little actual pho photography in there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a fairly text-dense book. Uh, and it is indeed about ideas of time. Now, they've approached this in a quite different way than I'm considering looking at time. But let me just um, give you a little rundown of the sections and the chapters. Uh, so part one is time and technology. So fixing transients, which looks at uh, Fox Talbot and the sort of early pioneers of photography. Uh, spooked Time, the temporal dimension of spirit photography, which of course was a big thing uh, in the Victorian era. And Modern Time, uh, revisiting the tableau. Uh, and that's, that's quite interesting. Part two is Returning Time, Memory and Order. So Time and Memory. Oh, I'm sorry, this is about, uh, this is the chapter that's about Fox Talbot. I've got myself... I, actually, I think chapter one and chapter four are sort of around that time. Uh, between present and past, photographic Portugal of the 1950s. Now, that was quite an interesting um, chapter. That's really about looking at the uh, travel photography uh, genre, uh, the, tra the um, sort of guidebook uh, to, to Portugal in particular. Time and Order, Self-Reflective Strategies in Photo Essays. Then part three is Cinematic Time, uh, Duration and Fragment, The Eclipse of Time, Suspended Relationships, uh, The Montage Photography Books of Moisha Raviv Vorobeche, uh, and an image, an image of an Image, uh, Photography and Robert Morris's Continuous Project Altered Daily. It's um, a fascinating book. It's a collection of these essays uh, that, uh, that look at time in the context of... Mm, that's not really quite right. Uh, it looks at time through photography. Uh, and in, sometimes in some quite um, uh, sort of oblique ways. Um, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a reach to see time in some of these essays. Uh, for example, um, uh, the self-reflective one, the revisiting the tableau, uh, are slightly reaching for ideas of time. But it is a fascinating book. Um, so if, uh, if you're interested in um, sort of theory of photography, uh, and the theories that underpin photography, you might be interested in uh, getting hold of a copy of that. I'm not going to do uh, a piece about what the photographs are. They're fairly sparse in here. It's really a, it's really um, 
uh, a text driven book and it's about investigating the theories of photography so there it is so that's that's one I'm just coming to the end of that this one I have finished reading and I'm going to go back uh, through this book um, because it is very very good it is documentary photography reconsidered history theory and practice by Michel Bogre it's uh, published by um, somebody uh, Bloomsbury Bloomsbury Visual Arts uh, other publishers now there's much more um, imagery in this uh, but again it's largely a text driven book there's quite a lot of um, sort of interviews with uh, very uh, with leading practitioners in the documentary uh, field um, and again this is a book that I would strenuously recommend uh, particularly of course if you're interested in photojournalism uh, or documentary photography or uh, storytelling through photography um, and possibly also photo essays now I have a particular view about uh, photo essays uh, as distinct from photo stories that uh, I, th I think might not be uh, a generally um, sort of shared view but I, I see something I see a particular genre as uh, photo essays as distinct from photo stories but if those are things of interest to you if you uh, if like me uh, are, are working in uh, longer form projects then this uh, might well be uh, of real interest uh, chapter one is reconsidering documentary photography uh, so it's, it's just laying the groundwork it's what what is uh, documentary photography uh, documentary photography as reality truth and authenticity and I touched on this idea of truth when I looked at uh, shots from the hip by Johnny uh, stiletto in the previous video and remember I we had that video of the student kneeling down sketching in a museum and he had cut out everything except the kneeling woman and it looked to, or for all the world like she was at prayer um, and that that exactly encapsulates the the question of uh, truth in documentary photography because of course and this this point is made well in this book when a photographer is taking uh, documentary photographs uh, <clears throat> they are they are editing the scene because they don't they don't they're not including everything they're editing the scene and so uh, we have to start questioning what represents truth and truth in photography has become much much more problematic in these days of uh, digital photography uh, in, a, in, in the old film days you could just look at the negative and you could see whether or not things have been cropped out it's much more difficult these days and there are stories in here of photojournalist, uh, photojournalists in, in war zones cropping, cropping out or cloning out rather um, a camera that's protruded into their frame in the bottom left and then getting fired from their job because that's not really allowed in photojournalism um, and of course that also points to another issue about documentary uh, photography and photojournalism and that is uh, <laughs> this staggering number of cameras and media people uh, taking part in uh, conflict situations uh, to to document and report on them and that's uh, that's a, a kind of question so all of that stuff is coming out then we get uh, documentary photography and memory um, documentary photography as evidence and this covenant of trust and we get back to this idea of truth and the manipulation of truth uh, the photographer as witness um, narrative collaborative storytelling um, storytelling with drones and social media uh, not really something that's of much interest to me but I recognize that it's uh, that it's a, a burgeoning area of uh, photography uh, and long-form documentary storytelling which is really uh, a, a chapter that's driven by um, sort of discussion and interview with uh, 
Lawrence Gai, Ed Cashy, Greg Constantine, Paul Wenham Clark. Uh, so again, another book I would uh, strongly recommend if, as I say, you're interested in photojournalism, if you're interested in documentary, if you're interested in um, sort of longer form projects at all, uh, this is an excellent read. So those are two books that, I, that I'm uh, currently working with. There are others, uh, but the others are non-photographic and I will include a piece, uh, a video on those uh, later um, because they're, they're, all, they're all about uh, getting ready for this uh, Masters. So Time and Photography uh, by Jan Betens, uh, Alexander uh, Streetberger and Hilda van Gelder editors Leuven University Press. I will put the details in the description and this one uh, documentary photography reconsidered by Michel Bogra. Both excellent excellent books. I can highly recommend them. Again uh, as ever love to hear what you think. If you have either of these, if you've read either of these let me know what you thought of them. Uh, if you are um, if you are encouraged to go get them I'd love to hear what you think of them uh, when you've read them. So there we go, a whole, new, a whole new series in our channel. I hope that's been of some interest and I hope, uh, I hope this series is of interest. Uh, it, it's going to grow as I move through the Masters and ultimately the PhD. So I hope it proves to be of, uh, of interest to people. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.